Okay, so greetings from lovely, beautiful Germany. Notice it's kind of dark outside right now, so I can't really show you how the weather is, but today it was beautiful. It was plus 7 degrees out, which is pretty freaking warm, I think. It was <clears throat> sunny, which was a shocker. I think that's the first time I've seen the sun in the last three days. The sun is never out. At, at, it, why? <sighs> No sun ever, ever, ever. Today was like, like I said, the first time I've seen the sun in three days. It's been cloudy and raining and hailing and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, at least in Canada it gets colder and colder and colder until it gets really cold and then it gets warmer and warmer and warmer until it gets really warm and then repeat. Here it just decides to do whatever the hell it wants. I swear to God, Germany is where Mother Nature goes on her, goes on vacation when she's on a rag. Like, it's crazy. Anyways. So, I made. I wanted to make this video because, well, A, I haven't made one in a while, and B, I don't remember B, oh yeah, because I, I recently went to a marketplace, and at this marketplace I was forced to talk to some Germans. Not against my will, you know, it wasn't really, I, I came here to learn German, so it's kind of, you know, necessary, but, excuse me, but well, something pissed me off when I was out at the marketplace. So I'm out, doing my shopping thing, looking around at stuff. Everything from clothes to backpacks to things I can't buy because I'm completely broken out of money. And anyways, I'm just looking around basically. I had like, I don't know, 10 euros in my pocket, which isn't going to get you very far. But it was enough to get me an ice cream. And I saw some guy walking around with an ice cream. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I would really like an ice cream. And I was told German ice cream is really good. So I had to get one. So I went to this German ice cream shop, parlor thing. And it's packed. There's so many people in there. And this, by the way, my hand's moving off to the side of the camera, you can't see it. But anyways, uh, it's packed filled, in case you're wondering why I'm moving so much. Anyways, it's packed filled with people. And this German lady, she's at the cash and she's serving all these other people. And then they, she stops serving them. I got pushed along in the line because there's like 10 people at the door pushing me in. So I get pushed in. And the lady looks at me and she goes, blah, 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 in German. And I go, uh, uh, ich kann's nicht sprechen Sie Deutsch. Which means, I can't speak German. And she gives me the... Okay, I, I, I know, like, I'm from Canada, and in Canada there's a lot of different cultures, and so we expect people, to, like, some people to run into that don't speak English. But come on. I'm one person. I guarantee I must have been the first person that lady ever saw that didn't speak German. She, she looked at me with this most disgusted look, like... Like, she looked at me like I was disgusting and stupid. She looked at me like... I was like, um, I don't know, and then she like ran away, she ran away from a customer, she walked, she looked at me, and she literally turned and ran the other way, back into the back of the ice cream parlor. Well, I'm like waiting there, expecting her to come out with like someone that speaks English maybe, so I can get my damn ice cream. Nope. She sticks her, I see her stick her head out of the freezer, she looks, she sees me, she closes the freezer door again. Like she's hiding in the freezer. So then I gave her a look something like this and I walked out and then after walking out I went down the street and I found another ice cream parlor and I thought this time hmm I'm not gonna tell them I don't speak German I'm just gonna pretend to be deaf that's bad I know but it worked <laughs> it worked I went up to the the lady there and she went in, in German and I went and she goes and she started pointing to the different ice creams, and I went, Duh, like this. And I mean, I know that's bad. I know that's bad. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that it's bad. I know it's bad. But here's the thing: she didn't run and hide. <laughs> like that's just sad. When you run and hide from a customer because you can't speak their language, you know that country's not multicultural. That's just. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just sad. That actually legitimately made me angry. That she just ran away from me. Like who does that? Who does that? You don't speak. Oh, I'm sorry, like, and I was so mad, if I could have spoke, if I could have been able, if I was able to speak German, I would have told that lady right off. Like, I'm seriously, I speak English. English, okay, I know, I'm in Germany, English isn't the primary language of Germany. But seriously, how many people in the world speak English? I guarantee, like, ten times more people than speak German. God forbid, one person in the store know English. Like, I mean, I, I can't really say much, because in Canada, nobody knows German. And I mean, I understand that. But... At least we'll try. We'll at least, you know, try to understand what you're doing through sign language and handing and pointing and whatever. We'll try. We don't just run away. Like, seriously? Anyways, 
I don't know how much time I have left. I forgot to start a counter, so I'm just gonna end it now. If you can't hear that, by the way, the wind's whistling. It's whistling. That's how windy. Can you? If you can't hear that, that's crazy. The wind is whistling through the window, and the window's shut and locked. Crazy weather here. Crazy weather. And like this morning, it was beautiful, and the was, sun was shining. And I don't actually know if the sun was shining this morning. I start work at seven, which is killer, by the way. I don't know. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh yeah, I start at five, or I start at four, or three, or whatever. I start at six. I don't get up. I start at seven, sorry. I don't, I have to get up at six. I don't get up at six. I hate getting up at six. And that thing, that freaking alarm clock of mine, wakes me up every morning, and I hate it, but I love it because I like having a job, but I hate it because I don't want to get up. I like, when I was in Canada, where I started work at eight. That was reasonable. Starting work at 7? Oh my god, I have to go to bed at like 9 so I can fall asleep around 10, 10, 30. And then, oh, it's just, it, it's miserable. I hate it. I would rather work a little bit later. Although there is one sweet thing. Every day we work a half hour more, so we work eight and a half hours. On Friday, we only work six hours. It's awesome. I go home at like 1 on Friday. I still got like the whole day when I get home on Friday. That is awesome. My neck is killing me from the work, but whatever. Yeah, I had spent the whole day with my head over a log like that. It's freaking sore. I was supporting the weight of my head with my neck all day. Oh, painful. But it's a job and it pays, and I can't really complain too much because they're teaching me German, and half of them don't know what I'm saying all the time. So it's kind of a good thing, I think, because I don't think they want to know what I'm saying. Anyways. So, anyways, ciao, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, whatever, remember, oh, by the way, in the last video I said, you know, um, don't go outside with wet hair, yeah, thanks, Grandma, that's not true, um, they don't really care if you have wet hair, just don't go outside in a bathrobe, but I mean, that pretty sure that's common everywhere, anyways, um, when in Germany, don't make blonde jokes, I guess that's a good one, if I didn't already say that one, I don't remember if I said that one, anyways, ciao, tschüss, bye, safe travels.